everyone this is Christine from the crafters outpost and I just wanted to make a quick little short video of these flowers that my husband buys me once in a while because I absolutely love them and they are great to work with when when you're crafting so what I usually do is I wait until they're about dead and um, then I just bring them down here and spread them out Make sure all the little leaves are flattened. And then I just turn it over like that. But they really do cooperate when it comes to how well they dry out. And what they look like when they're when they're done and then I usually just spray them like with some hairspray hairspray or glue I think I have videos on that somewhere in my video log but I just press them down towards the paper like that and then I just fill the paper up with all the ones that I see that is possibly uh dying or have already completely drooped it doesn't matter because you can open them right back up and there's one right here and it doesn't take much to really just pinch them off with your finger um for the most part sometimes i use scissors when i have both of my hands free uh, so I just try to open them back up like that and then flip them over really fast. Sometimes some of the leaves get caught underneath, but I like to make sure they're all spread out. Sorry about the camera. I'm always trying to do things with one hand and so, cause I'm kind of lazy takes a lot of work to hook stuff up and I just do things on spur of the moment so anyway so I just push it down like that and then after that I have a book right here that I put them in that's my Christmas cactus and then I just lay something heavy on top and I let them sit there for however long uh, sometimes I have found flowers for <laughs> months that I forgot about and uh, I just let them dry and then I put them on cards and stuff they're really cool and I just love all the colors different colors that you can use they're just beautiful okay so I had these flowers in this vase and I realized that the water was turning this really pretty pink color so what I did is I put some in a jar and I'm going to try to add a few more flowers to this and put it in the fridge and let it sit for um, maybe a few weeks and then try to see what kind of colored papers I can do with it. I think it's just uh, the dyes off of some of the flowers that got into the water. So I thought, hmm, you know how us crafters are. Our minds are always going. So I'm going to give it a shot. So I decided to put some of the flowers in the jar and then I added some wild orange essential oils. I'm going to put the lid on and in a few weeks I'll come back and see what we got.